Good day! In this video, we are going to try and solve question 3C, part 1 and part 2 of the 2024 Demonstrate Mathematical Reasoning exam paper titled uh, number 91947. This is a 5 credit internal. And without further ado, let's do question part 2C, part 1, which is achieve, and then 2C, part 2, which is excellent. So without, let's start. Okay, so the question sounds like this. Okay, so I'm going to bring it up a bit because we need a space. The diagram below shows the prism with rectangular base A, B, C, D. Okay, A, B, C, D. Okay, the cross section A, B, F, E means this trapezium. Okay, it's a trapezium symmetrical with A, E equal to B, F, A, E equal to B, F, A, B equal to 4K, H, E, F is going to be equal to 2K and BC equal to 8K. Angles A, B, F, this angle here is going to be 60 degrees. All lengths are in meters. Show that the length P, F is equal to 1.7321K. So we are going to find this length E, F, P, okay, or P, F, okay, and we know that this is 60 degrees. We use a right angle triangle formula or trick ratio and we know PB is equals to K. The reason is that if this is 2K, this is K and this is K because they add up to 4K because they are symmetrical. So that's K and you know the 60 degrees. So we can use the formula tangent 60 using this. This is opposite, okay? And this is adjacent, okay? Because this is the opposite the angle and this is adjacent. So tangent 60 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite is going to be PF. That's what we're going to find. And I, uh, the hypotenuse, no, not hypotenuse, O over A, adjacent, okay? Adjacent is going to be K. So now tangent 60, so PF is just going to be, you multiply by K on both sides of the equation, okay? So you're going to be K tangent 60. Put in your calculator, you should get tangent 60 is going to be 1.7321 and then time K. So that's how you get achieved, okay? Great. Now we shall do the merit question and the merit question or excellence question in fact okay and excellence question sounds like this okay, adjust the paper okay okay so in the same trapezium okay is a volume given that the volume of the prism this whole prism is going to be 649.9519 meter cube find the value of k so now we know that this area here okay the area of trapezium, area of trapezium is going to be A plus B over 2 times height, okay? A and B is the two parallel sides, so these two are parallel, so it's going to be 2K plus 4K divided by 2 and multiply by the height. We found in the last example the height of 1. 0.7321k so we're going to multiply by 1.7321k okay so now simplify that 2k plus 4k is 6k divided by 2 so it's 3k times 1.7321k and the answer is going to be 5.196k squared so I advise you not to put two equal sign but because of running out of space I have to do that, okay? So now we know the area of this trapezium is going to be 5.196k. So we need to find the volume. Volume of that trapezium is just going to be 5.196k squared multiplied by 8k, okay? And that will give us a total of 41.5704k squared. Okay, so that's the volume, and we know that volume is going to be equal to given as 649.519. That's what's given there, okay? The volume is 649.519, so that is equal to that. So what we're going to do, we are first going to divide both sides by 41.5704. So k squared is equal to 649.519 divided by 41.5704. 5704. I did the calculation before, it's going to be 15.625. Okay, and of course, to find k, 
it's cubed, sorry, it's cubed. So k, you multiply by 8k, so there'll be a cube there instead of square. So cube, okay? So k, we're going to be the cube root of 15.625. And put in your calculator, and the answer is going to be 2.5 meter. Okay? So I repeat again. So you find the area is 5196k squared. And then you're going to multiply by 8k, okay? So you get cube 415704k cube, you go that, and then you solve it by dividing by 415704, and then you cube the answer, and the answer is 2.5, and that is an excellent question. Well done, and we'll see you in the next video, which is question 3a onwards. Cheers everyone, and have a great day.